Hello everyone, it's Jason with Modeling Pros and this is going to be the second video in our uh, in my step-by-step -step video build for the 148 scale, scale P40 Warhawk. Um, in the previous video you saw this already, but I'm just going to kind of explain how I got to this point. Um, when working a, uh, a fighter plane like this one, uh, what the first step really is, is to build the cockpit. So how much of the cockpit you build uh, before you paint any of it, in what order you do it, so on and so forth, it's going to depend on the individual uh, kit. In this case, we had the, uh, the base of the cockpit, which actually is this piece right here. And then the back that would be kind of like the bulkhead, if you could imagine that. It's behind the seat. And the piece that was going to hold on the instrument panel, plus the control stick and the sides, were all uh, assembled, and then I airbrushed them green. I tried to do some detail work uh, down there on the uh, floor panel. I don't like it, but... The next time I try to do that, I'll do it right. I'll tape it properly and airbrush it like it should be, so on and so forth. Uh, I painted the seat separately and then attached it. Uh, there's some detail in here that I painted after it was all assembled and then put on the uh, control panel pieces. Not sure how well you can really see those, but they're in there. Anyway, so I assembled all of that. Now, since I did that, I've watched quite a few videos on building interiors, and I've realized that there were a lot of things I could have done differently and done better, but that's okay. Like I've said before, you know, I'll, I, I'll learn and I'll do better next time. No big deal, really. So once I had the cockpit assembled, it was time to put it in between the two halves of the fuselage. You can kind of see here how it's pinched in between the two halves of the fuselage. The fuselage halves I put together using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. And I kind of uh, showed you this in a previous video, but basically what you do is you just take this applicator here and then just run that applicator down the seams of the two halves. Whoops, sorry of the two halves of the um, fuselage. Now, on this particular model, what that did is that still left um, a noticeable seam, honestly, there. So what I did after that was I took uh, some putty and applied some modeling putty to that and then used uh, sanding sticks, such as these right here, to get the fuselage uh, pieces smooth to where if I run my fingernail over it, sorry, you can't really see, if I run my fingernail over it, I'm not feeling a lip there. Now in the course of sanding, a lot of the fine detail, I don't know how well you can see the fine detail, but on the fuselage there are lines, rivets, uh, that are pre-molded uh, into the model straight out of the box. And whenever we're um, sanding to, to get the, uh, the lip gone, we sand away some of that detail. So that detail has to be rescribed back into the fuselage or cut back into it. So what I did to rescribe on this one was actually just using a, uh, a modeling knife to put the lines, the panel lines, back in across the back of the fuselage. And where I, uh, where I sanded out rivets, I actually used this uh, device right here, which is, uh, you know, I don't really know what it is. It's something Sarah gave me, and I really don't know what it's meant for. But anyway, it's sharp. And I poked the, uh, the rivets back into the, the fuselage where they had been before. And that's just, you know, we want, we want, I want this to be as detailed as possible, to be as realistic as possible. So when I sand away 
the the um, the detail, I want to put it back in. There are actually many tools for rescribing other than just a modeling knife. I don't own very many of them. I'm sure I'll purchase them at some point in the future when I can, and then my rescribing will get better. There are actually riveting tools, tools that are made specifically for putting the rivets back into uh, the the plastic and again maybe one of these days I'll I'll uh, get my hands on one of them anyway uh, that takes you up through that tonight I did build the wings so in my next video I'll probably show you how that uh, how that occurred anyway I hope you find that interesting and tune in for the next video so you can see uh, the next part of building building the Tammy I'm, I'm sorry the trumpeter 148th scale p40 warhawk Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.